So we have this, we don't really need it. It basically shows all the commands that we currently have uh, running. I have an add-on, so it shows all the commands I never really executed, but this is what I executed. And this is what the add-on executed in the background multiple times, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, so as you can see, this is the previous result. If I do apply filter again, we have one additional result. Now it catched this 90,000 and we can go into the GPS location. This is the ID. This is the guide, the database guide. It will never change. And as you can see, we do not have the RAM guide, AKA guide low. This is because like I said, it is bound to this very specific application itself. And the application is quite a bit heavier now, not by much because it is very optimized, but this is the current size of it. And before it was a bit less. So why don't we see the interface? Why don't we see any sort of menu? That is because when we execute this script, when we interact with the NPC, this command is being called. This command is called on gossip hello. Basically, whenever you talk to the NPC, this is what is being executed. Now, as you can see, we have only one gossip item. Okay, to have multiple gossip items, we will need to have add gossip item four. And we can change the variables here player is by default what we need Four is just the menu id this is very um just type four it's all we need and here we can type uh the string i do up and down um <laughs> as you can see i do two the most which change the variable as well to uh four and i will go over it in a bit uh, it, it's basically the icon that you need. You can have icons uh, variable. I will not go into it into too much depth, but just to make sure you guys understand four, there is one till f six, I believe. You can modify it as you will and check it in game. I just use four. And uh, text, we will call it goodbye. Now in here we need gossip sender main which is what I got stuck with last time <laughs> I had to edit this part out and we will give it case ID which will be 2 now by default as you can probably see uh, now it has two gossip menus this is all we ever done we will not define case number 2 it's not being defined uh, this is where we define it and we will not define case number two and we will see how the core will actually react to it Though we will need to close the server in order to apply this how we do that we go to build We build a solution now note that we do not we do not need to do CMake all over again in fact we will never need to do CMake again as long as we update this custom script in this current format if we have anything to add onto it we simply add and then we just build a new solution now this time it will fail because the server is on so what do we actually do we build solution and in here we do control and c it will stop the process i'm logged out of the game and in order to up to restart it because this is a manual um it you close the server manually you simply press n and then you hit enter if you want to terminate this uh, batch file we do not want to terminate it we will want to resume when we press y it will close it this will be x and when we do n it will restart it this is why i really like to use this restarter uh, now we can press N and we can enter because we have three successful and zero failed. This is the most important part, zero failed. So we will open it back again and I will go back in game and we will see what actually changed in quite a bit. All right, guys. Logging into the server. 
I am still a GM, I still use SVLANs. And we go in here, right click and boom, we can see that we have two menus. Now, this one is meant to close the menu and never do anything else. And this is exactly what it does. Same for if we press X and if we press goodbye, all of them by default do the same thing. However, this one, since we didn't define it, it will persist in here. It will not do anything. Moreover, it will not disappear if you press here because nothing was defined in here. It is empty. It doesn't have any value. It doesn't have any command. It's not even defined. So when we press here, we basically, uh, in quotation mark, make it get stuck in here. So nothing we will do will actually work within the gossip menu. However, this one will always work and this one will always work because they work through OP codes and packets. Uh, it's not really um, relevant. Again, just a bit of extra information. Uh, I can expand upon everything I talk about here very briefly, but it will come later with time. First, I want to cover the basics so what we can actually make this one do as you can see it does only close the menu we can actually make it have several additional options we don't have this has an image next to it we don't want it to have only this we want it to have uh give me a buff we can make it have give me an item we can make it have teleport me somewhere so let's actually give it a shot and try to modify it into a level where we can have several buttons and each of them does something on its own. But before we do that, this is um, the uh, four that I showed you guys earlier. This is the icon. It's a grid wheel, whatever it is called. Uh, it is one till six, I believe. Let me just find it. We will go back into the compiler real quick. Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, this is gossip option icon. This is the class. The well, it's not really a class. It's a a noom, but still, uh, this is what we actually do. Uh, instead of four, we can have it gossip icon, and we can have it icon chat instead, which is zero, as you can see here. This one, uh, we can have it four was uh, where is it interact yeah this one this one is four this one is five is five uh, we can see all the options by clicking here and going to peak definition and we can see everything that is being displayed uh, very useful and uh, you can see here some of them are not usable and that's okay uh, I just use four because this is the most convenient one I, I don't really care about it many people use chat and yeah but we can have this one have an icon as well like an image like we have here this is a very specific layout I will paste it in the course uh, itself so you guys can enjoy, but for now we will just keep this one as it is. Um, anyways, for now, we do not want case number one to be equal to shut the server down, uh, shut the script down. What we wanted to have is let's give it a different meaning. Let's give it a add item uh, functionality. So to do that, we will go into player, which is being defined up here, player add item. That is very simple. Uh, add item, we want the player to have, let's see which item we can actually have. Lookup item, uh, lookup item, let's call it uh, gold coin silver gold coin this is the id that we want i will copy it and item this and amount will be one whenever we press on this item well whenever we press on this uh this menu we, it will give us a new item 
now when that is done it will get stuck because after that it doesn't close it doesn't do anything it's like case number two that we had previously case number two is not being even defined so we need to define case number two however before we do that we will actually give it meaning after it adds an item because we don't want the menu to freeze so what we can do is we can make it go back to the main menu so to do that we will go to on gossip hello player because this is the variable it requires but before we do that we will actually need to cl to clear the gossip menu when we do not have clear gossip menu we will press on it and this menu will replicate itself everything that is listed in here will appear once again for now i will not do this i will do it in a comment which is double slash like this and clear gossip menu for player this is the variable and this uh to see that in action clear gossip menu for and you can see here the requirement which is player which has been defined up here so we will get rid of this for now and we will give case number two meaning now instead of goodbye i want it to be teleport me to and we will not give we like to be secret uh in here we will give it a comment it will be case number two teleport somewhere and we will give it player teleport to and we can have um, let's see the available teleport locations we will go to teleport game tele there you go uh, we will go into this one because why not no actually no let's go to the Gurubashi We will remain at the same map. Let's go to Guru Bashi. Guru Bashi Arena. Map ID is zero. Teleport two. We can see the credentials by pressing the down arrow. And we have map ID is zero. Now, please notice that unsigned integer 32, it does not require anything. It's a whole number. It's very simple. We simply do zero float x float y float z and float orientation because it's a float value we will need to inform the core where the the variable ends as in where this one is ending because it can be a uh, positive can be negative value doesn't really matter uh it doesn't know when after this dot here it ends so it will continue to scan it and it will never really finish it to to force finish we type f at the end and this is how it knows that we finished uh, so this one is x this one is y uh, f and this one is z z and f and orientation we can do this just like that and that should be it now teleport somewhere we will give it a note guru bashi arena and to end this specific case we will go and break it this is what happens when it takes a break now obviously since we teleport and we will not be at the same distance as the npc itself npc is the creature that we interact with it will shut the gossip menu down by itself um unless obviously we'll we will f um be close to the npc by being very close to it so for now we will compile it as right now we still have not applied any of these changes we will save all in game Control c and we will press n by default so it can know that we will want 
to restart this batch file, this uh, restarter. When that is done, I will log back into the game and we will have fun by seeing what works and what does not. Please keep in mind that this first menu will cause the server, the, the uh, gossip to reappear and eventually it will cause a crash because the maximum limit that we can possibly have is um, uh, 32 gossip menus and since this one prints uh, 2 it means we can do it th uh, 16 if not even 15 times before it crashes so we will need to be a bit more careful if this is a public server and if it isn't then obviously we are here to mess around and it should be fine i will be back in game real quick all right <clears throat> give me an item give me an item give me an item basically happens infinitely and yeah this is uh the first one works we can see that i clicked on it 29 times and teleport me to and boom the menu uh closed and i will need to go back in here however what will happen if i move the npc in here npc move teleport me to actually let's make it a bit more close PC move teleport me teleport oh yeah <laughs> we can use it only once <laughs> uh, so yeah you can basically see what happens when we do not define something in advance we always need to think ahead every single script we add we will need to find all the possible I mean as much as we can possibly can uh, we will need to think of all the possible exploits uh, yeah it's a demanding task but we will get to 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 it very slowly and we will advance with many uh, techniques and many functionalities and we will create stuff and we will expand upon things and this is just a quick uh, mess around as uh, a why not sort of method and uh, yeah so I hope you learned how to add your own um, custom script into the core and how you define it in game we specifically used it on a uh, on a creature we can actually use it on an item when you right click an item you can make it do stuff we can make a zone script when you enter Gurubashi Arena. You can make it do stuff. Uh, the most important part is to know how to implement it because right now I believe most of the people watching simply do not know how to script. So but as long as you know how to implement things that other created, that is the first step to success and to very basic knowledge of how we... Uh, start a server and make it fun for our friends and family to enter and uh we're done with this specific course i hope you guys had fun for now i will just uh make sure that this uh actually close gossip menu for player just to make sure that it actually closes it and yeah that is all we need for now um best of luck guys i will see you on the next course